Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I'd like to welcome you to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, October 8th. The Weekend Roundup is the show where we take a look back at what I've done over the past week, we take a look ahead to what I will do over the next week, and we also take a look at any gaming deals or free-to-plays or anything cool that might be going on for the weekend. Let's start things off as we usually do by talking about TGN. Well, this week on TGN, we did a couple of things, actually. We did a Space Marine video. Yes, indeed. Shock and awe. The Space Marine uh, series continues to do well over there in terms of uh, feedback that I get. A lot of people who watch it seem to like it, getting a lot of likes, not a lot of dislikes. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a lot of viewers in general on those videos. I'm starting to sound like a broken record in regards to the amount of viewers that I get on those, but... Uh, you know, whatever. There's a small and loyal audience who seems to enjoy them, so I will definitely continue to do them. I also gave the game Rusty Hearts a second chance to make a first impression on me. Originally, when I played that free-to-play uh, MMO-ish beat-em-up hack-and-slash game, I was very disappointed by the keyboard controls, or lack thereof, really, and uh, I vowed to try it again with a gamepad. Well, I did indeed acquire a gamepad after having to uh, dispose of my old Sidewinder. My, my lord, that controller must have been over 10 years old. It was the old Sidewinder that actually had, um, it had a ball in the center, and both sides of the controller could pivot independently of, e of each other. So it, it, it was crazy. You could actually use it in some early motion control type stuff. Um, it was insane. Uh, it was an awesome controller. Like I said, I had that thing for probably 10 years. It was amazing. I loved it. But uh, it, it died on me a few weeks ago, a few months ago, and uh, I just replaced it with an Xbox 360 controller. And uh, I tried it. Rusty Hearts gave it a chance with a controller. It's so much better with a controller. So I would definitely give that game a chance. If you like that sort of anime-inspired in uh, hack-and-slash game, it is uh, very instance-based from what I could tell. Uh, if, you, if you like that anime style, like I said, you're going to love this game. It has that great 3D anime style, and it's free to play. So uh, give it a chance. It's from Perfect World. You know, they are hit and miss for me. Uh, they've made some things that I hate, some other things that I dislike, and they've, uh, they've published one game that they didn't develop that I absolutely love, which is Torchlight. So uh, they had really nothing to do with that game other than getting it to market, and uh, that's probably why it's so damn good. The rest of their Korean imports that they do, I'm a fan of some of them, not so much of others. Uh, the Forsaken and Perfect World games in particular were somewhat disappointing, but this game is worth a try. It's free. It's on Steam. You can also find it on Perfect World's uh, website. I think that's perfectworld.com. Give it a try. See if it is. See if I'm correct in that guess. Well, guys, let's move over to the home channel. Here on the home channel, we started the week off with... Frozen Synapse. Well, I say started the week off, but that video didn't go up till like Wednesday, I think. So we were a little slow to start here on the home channel, but we got things rolling with Frozen Synapse. Of course, it is part of the humble Frozen Synapse bundle, which is up to five or six games. I don't know. Let's count them out. Let's count them out. The Frozen Synapse bundle has Frozen Synapse. It has Space Chem, which is blowing my freaking mind with its scientific complexity. We have uh, the, the trippy cool trauma. We have Trine, we have Shadowgrounds, we have Shadowgrounds Soul Survivor, we have the unreleased title Splot, and we have the prototype game, the unfinished uh, prototype game Jack Claw. So that's eight titles, uh, seven of those you can play right now, Splot being the one exception as it's not released, and um, yeah, Jack's, Jack Claw is of course not a complete game, it is a prototype. But, but that's eight solid titles. Uh, you know, throw a $20 bill at that, throw a $10 bill at that. Uh, that's an amazing deal. I mean, uh, how are you going to beat that, possibly? I mean, uh, Frozen Synapse is 25 bucks. Trine is 20 bucks. Space Kim is 15 Trauma's 15 I mean, come on. Seriously. It's for charity, guys. Reach into your pocket. Like I said at the beginning of the Frozen Synapse uh, game, uh, game video, I am cheap. But when it comes to charity, or when the time is appropriate... I know uh, when to dig into my pockets and uh, when to be generous, and, and that is a time when I choose to be generous. No matter how many Humble Bundles they put out in a year, whether it's one, two, or three, I try to buy every one, and I try to pay whatever I can afford to pay at that moment. So as of listening to this, there'll be about maybe four days left 
in the Humble Bundle, so uh, take a look over there, and uh, we will also talk about the other game, one of the other games that is featured in the Humble Bundle, and uh, that's going to be our second game that we did a video on this week, and that's Trauma. Trauma, what can I say about that game? That video is probably one of my worst as far as like actually being in intelligent and articulate and talking about the game because my jaw was on the floor for so much of the time. It was an experience like no other. It, it was so interesting and so much fun. Uh, I mean, I just... It, it was... It was a point-and-click game that was so interesting, I didn't even feel like I was playing a point-and-click game. Honestly, it felt like the first time I played Myst. You know, I played point-and-click games. They were all over, you know, um, what was it? Uh, Ma uh, Maniac Mansion? What is that game? There was... Point-and-click games are as old as, as pointing and clicking. Um, and the first time I played Myst, I felt I felt like I wasn't playing a point-and-click game. I felt like I was playing something so much more. And, uh, you know, that was over 10 years ago now, but... Uh, oh, oh God, good lord, that's almost 20 years ago. Good lord, that I first played Myst. But, uh, y you know, this game gave me that same feeling. Fe filling? F cream filling. It gave me that same cream filling. It gave me that same feeling of uh, experiencing a genre redefined. The way that the story is pre pre presented to you, uh, that it's it's essentially a, a, a dream state that you're in uh, uh, from from a, a car accident victim, and, and you're you're going through all these bizarre dreams and visions that the person's having while while they're traumatized, while they're suffering from a physical uh, trauma. It, it's it's amazing. I mean, like I said, it, the game was made by one guy. You know, obviously with some um, a couple of voice actors and and some additional help here and there. I'm sure. But it's an amazing undertaking, it's a fantastic game, and it's it's a really good addition to a very cool, uh, humble bundle. This is a very interesting and intriguing humble bundle. It has some very, very uh, cutting-edge games, in my opinion. Games that are, are serving as... Uh, they're serving as stimulants to bring genres back. I mean, uh, Frozen Synapse is doing so much to bring back the turn-based strategy genre, in my opinion. Space Chem is space chem uh, trauma is is doing so much for the point and click uh, trine is doing a lot for the cooperative uh, gameplay and puzzle platformers and of course shadow grounds shadow grounds is also rather than not redefining a genre or anything there i mean they are overhead shooter shooter games uh, but they're still fun so all in all this bundle is great we did the two videos for two of the games this uh this week for the bundle. Like I said, you'll have uh, three or four days as of hearing this left on the bundle. I hope that you choose to go to HumbleBundle.com and see what you can do about purchasing these. I may scrounge together some more money, a fair amount of money, and buy a second bundle, and uh, that will be used as a gift uh, to parcel out some prizes to folks, especially loyal listeners of the channel, members of the fan group, and followers on Twitter. So, Watch out, we're going to be giving some stuff away. So if you don't manage to grab a Humble Bundle, or if you're hearing this and it's, you know, next week, and it's too late to get the bundle, I will probably scrounge up enough to give what I think is a fair amount for a second bundle and use that bundle as a, uh, as a prize factory, so to speak. All right, guys, let's talk about what's going on around the Internet this weekend in terms of deals. Well, you've got the Humble Bundle. That's a deal. Humble Bundle, Humble Bundle. This is the Humble Bundle video. It's all about the Humble Bundle. But apart from that, let me tell you about someone who is getting removed from my browsing list. That's GOG.com. GOG.com, I have rarely purchased from you, maybe once or twice. I don't really plan to purchase from you ever again because they have gone back to another of these the more you buy, the more you save package deals. So GOG will no longer be a part of my browsing when I browse for deals on the weekend. You may want to still go there, but uh, I feel strongly enough about this particular method of... of, of uh, I wanted to say scamming, but it's not really scamming. Uh, but I, I just don't like this sales tactic, and I won't be patronizing their website any longer. So sorry, GOG, you've lost my business because of this particular type of sales tactic that you are using. So head on over there. There are some Activision strategy games, some old games, strategy and tactical games. They are on that sliding scale. The more you buy, the more you save. So uh, be forewarned. On Steam, we're sell they're selling uh, Fable, Fable 3, uh, for a decent discount. And really, that's about it. I think uh, Direct No Direct to Drive has Max Payne, has uh, two or three Max Payne games, very good discount. Oh, and uh, one other thing, I almost forgot about this. One of my viewers, and I can't 
the name is escaping me right now, but somebody turned me on on my Twitter to uh, Amazon's game download service. It's not like Steam in that it has a uh, its own program and interface and everything. It's more like like uh, Gamers Gate, where you can you can download directly from the site, but it's a digital distribution. It's done through Amazon. Go to Amazon, go to their game section, and look for game downloads. Every week they have a deal on a downloadable game. This week it's the King's Bounty series. It's reasonably priced at $5 for the Platinum Pack, which includes all the expansions. I've never played King's Bounty, but from what I understand it, and what, what I've seen in watching videos, it's a lot like Heroes of Might and Magic. It's sort of an overhead RTS, um, moving around, grabbing supplies, claiming areas, and then when you go into combat, it goes into a hex-based combat system where your troops fight their troops, and so forth and so on. So it looks really good, full function, uh, full, uh, full of features, full featured, not full function, uh, full featured, and uh, it looks really, really interesting. I think I'm probably going to pick it up uh, just because it looks, it looks um, well made, frankly. Uh, so King's Bounty over there on Amazon's game download service. Remember, go to Amazon.com, go to their game section, and look for game downloads. You should see the link in there to their weekly deal. That is a great, great piece of info, and if I can remember who gave me that info, I will pass their name along with a giant pat on their back. So we are running long on time, so real quickly let me give you a, uh, a bit of information on how the next week or two is going to go. So it's a, uh, it's a little bit of a sad time for me, because my 14-month-old uh, my, uh, son, William, and my wife are going to be going to visit his grandparents, my, my wife's parents in Illinois. So that's, uh, I'm in North Carolina. Uh, so that's, that's a little ways away and they're going to be gone for about two weeks. And that's, that's, uh, they're going to be leaving on Saturday the 8th. So, uh, that's good. And that's bad. It's bad because of course, you know, I love my, my wife and I love my kid and it'll be sad to be without them for two weeks, but, uh, I'm going to hold down the fort here, keep working the job and uh, paying the house payment and all that stuff while they go and visit with the grandparents. So uh, that's bad, but that's also good. It's good because it means that I will have a lot of free time at night to make videos. So what I'm going to spend a lot of next week doing is making a ton of videos and banking those videos, getting those ready to go, getting them on my hard drive, and having them there so that I can post them in a scheduled manner. So I'm probably going to make a video uh, every, you know, of every game that I have. I'm going to run out of games probably before this two weeks ends. Every time I have, a, have an opportunity, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to record a video. And I, am, I, I plan to make as many as possible. So I will make uh, videos for as many games as I can. I will keep those ready on the hard drive. And you should see releases come a little more frequently from me. Also, if you, if you saw, um, I don't remember where I said it. I think it was probably my Twitter. So, you know, if you're one of the ten people who would have seen it, the, uh, the show Try It, which I did with G-Shift, it was a try it before you buy it show where I was going to try out a demo of a game that was less than five dollars and I was going to then make the decision during the game whether or not during the video whether or not to buy the game and at the end of the video if I liked it buy it or if I didn't don't buy it um, but I've had, had some trouble I was trying to film a second episode of that and it's really difficult to find games that are cheaper than five dollars that actually have demos it just it, it's almost unheard of um, so I can't really find any more uh, any more subjects for that show. So what I decided to do is just make Try It a demo show, where I play demos. And uh, that'll give me a chance to bring on some higher-end games, some AAA games, as it were, and uh, play some newer stuff, and, uh, you know, just put a couple of levels of a demo out there for you guys. So I'll start doing that show in that format. I'm also going to do a revisit. I had actually planned to do a revisit of Post-Apocalyptic Mayhem, but ended up in a, in a roundabout way doing the revisit to that during their free-to-play weekend. So I think I'm going to do a revisit of Dwarfs. Uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm going to sit down with that game a little bit more and uh, mess with it, tinker around with it, and I'm going to do a revisit of Dwarfs. At least that's the plan as I record this. All right, guys, we have run way long on this. I, when I first started this show, I remember very vividly the words coming out of my mouth, I want this show to be about five minutes long. And we are clocking in at about 15 this week, so uh, my apologies, guys. I don't know what game I put in the background, but I hope it was good enough to keep you entertained while I rambled on and on and on. Alrighty, guys. Let's just end this right now, because I'm sure that you have better things to do, as do I. So, I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.